For Kelly Blue Book's 2015 compact car comparison, we gathered seven of the most interesting and popular small cars, including the Subaru Impreza, Volkswagen Jetta, and Ford Focus, each updated for 2015, as well as the Mazda 3, Dodge Dart, Honda Civic, and Toyota Corolla. Speaking of Corolla, the latest iteration is a sales winner. Toyota's reputation for quality is a key factor, but so are uncommon efficiency and pleasing road manners. To the first point, over the course of our evaluation, our Corolla LE Eco Plus trim returned 35.4 mpg, making it the most efficient car in our test. To the second point, the Corolla isn't really a fun mobile, but its light steering and generally agreeable road manners nicely align with its role as commuter car. Going further, we appreciated the Corolla's large, easy-to-load trunk, simple infotainment system, comfortable seats, and generous passenger space. Countering those positives is a noisy cabin and a continuously variable transmission found on higher trims that functions with the rubbery, droning demeanor of yesterday's CVTs. Still, for buyers who want reliable, inoffensive transportation crammed with value and quality, the Corolla remains a simple choice. Speaking of simple choices, the Honda Civic. For many in Kelly Blue Book's editorial department, the Civic is a default suggestion when asked, what car should I buy? We like the Civic so much that we awarded it Kelly Blue Book's small car best buy of 2015. To be clear, our love isn't blind. The Civic has rightly earned its accolades through wide spectrum excellence. It steers, accelerates, and brakes with responsive yet forgiving ease. The seats are comfortable and supportive, and the available continuously variable transmission is so smooth and efficient, we'll happily accept it over a traditional automatic. Of course, excellent does not equal perfect. The infotainment system's missing volume knob and not quite intuitive interface remain sore spots, while the Civic styling trails more emotive shapes like the Mazda 3 and Ford Focus. But those are minor quibbles. All told, the Honda Civic is the best rounded compact you can and very likely should buy. If the Civic is a metaphorical scoop of impeccably crafted vanilla ice cream, the Mazda 3 might be salted malted chocolate chip cookie dough from Portland's Salt and Straw, which for the record is fantastic. Like its ice cream spirit flavor, the Mazda 3 is daring and fun and encourages frequent pleasure-seeking travel. To that end, the Mazda 3 was quite appropriately the lone car in our comparison sporting a manual transmission an excellent six-speed unit that when paired with a two-liter Skyactiv engine, charms with satisfying shifts, good acceleration, and outstanding fuel economy. Slightly tight rear seat legroom aside, the Mazda 3 is quite practical, exemplified by a highly usable infotainment system, a freeway ride that's better than the 3's sharp handling should allow, and the widest, most useful cargo pass-through in our comparison. Even if it is the car for fun seekers, the Mazda 3 is easily substantive enough to justify a purchase. The Dodge Dart is what you'd call a mixed bag. On one hand, it looks pretty cool. It boasts an optional 8.4-inch Uconnect infotainment system that's among the best in the biz, the seats are comfortably supportive, and the interior is quiet and classy looking. On the other hand, the back seats are tight, our test car's optional 2.4-liter engine was the least efficient of the group, the automatic transmission was slow to react, and the insanely sensitive throttle made smooth stop-and-go driving virtually impossible. We also need to address Dodge's let's say, dodgy quality, which surfaced when the rear driver's side door handle came off in our hands. Seriously. The Dart has its high points, but in a field this competitive, there are more sensible options. One of those options is the Volkswagen Jetta, especially if your version of sensible includes a spacious cabin and a huge trunk. Beyond sheer volume, the Jetta delights with a well-sorted ride, eager handling, a stout 1.8-liter turbocharged engine that we definitely recommend over the base 115-horsepower 2-liter, seats that are more than tolerable over, let's say, a 450-mile test loop, and very efficient hybrid and diesel powertrain options. Gripes include a proprietary input needed to connect smartphones, a decent but not exactly class-leading infotainment system, and the nagging worry that, like some VWs of the past, electrical gremlins might someday sour an otherwise delightful ownership experience. Class-leading reliability and resale values are still more of a Toyota thing, but at least during our test, the Volkswagen Jetta stood out as a roomy, inviting, compact delight. The Subaru Impreza is the outlier in our comparison for two big reasons. One, thanks to scheduling complexities, we wound up with a hatchback, raising the important point that, if it's your preferred body style, an Impreza sedan is available. 
while the Mazda 3 and Ford Focus can also be had as hatchbacks. And two, the Impreza is the only compact car to feature standard all-wheel drive. It might not have helped much on our dry California drive route, but all-wheel drive is a major perk in lands with legitimate winter. Westeros, for example. Despite powering all four tires, the Impreza has a peak highway rating of 37 mpg, an impressive feat made possible by an unhurried 2-liter four-cylinder engine and a continuously variable transmission that doesn't quite match the Civic in refinement. Handling was middling, and interior noise was the most intrusive in our tests, but with a nice ride, strong resale values, smart acting dynamic cruise control available in the EyeSight technology package, and yes, all-wheel drive, the Subaru Impreza definitely has a place among the compact car field. Following a refresh for 2015, the Ford Focus entered our test with a renewed competitive spirit. Supplementing an exterior lift and tuck, the newest Focus benefits from a retuned suspension, a quiet, better appointed interior, and a newly optional 1 liter 3 cylinder that can deliver up to 42 mpg on the highway. At less than $22,000, our test car was not only the cheapest car in the comparison, it was also well equipped with a 6 speed automatic rear parking sensors, a backup camera, an 8-way power driver's seat, 17-inch alloy wheels, and SYNC infotainment, though we look forward to Ford's next-gen SYNC 3 replacing that last item in the not-too-distant future. Value aside, we really enjoyed the Focus's sporty handling, eager 2-liter base engine, and dynamic styling. There are ultimately sportier, more refined, and roomier compact cars, but in latest form, the Ford Focus possesses undeniable appeal. That's a super brief look at our compact car comparison for 2015. As you'd guess, major comparisons like this are always enlightening to the team here at Kelly Blue Book. For a deeper look at our discoveries, including comparisons between each entry and the rest of the field, just head to KBB.com.